Can a common type of grass reverse kidney failure? Should those with candidiasis avoid sugar, wheat and dairy? Is South African bank Capitec hiring for several positions via an unverified link? And are several other South African retailers also hiring? Welcome to this episode of What's Crap on WhatsApp, the voice note show that investigates the crap shared in your WhatsApp groups. I'm Andesua May from podcasting company Volume. And I'm Taryn Curry from Africa Check, the continent's leading fact-checking organization. Let's get to it. Our first claim is that a common type of grass can reverse kidney failure within three months. The post has a whooping 11 million views and includes four photos of what appears to be ordinary grass growing from the ground. Seems sketchy, right? A quick reverse image search of the photos led us to a few articles that identified the plant as a common goose grass. It is a tufted grass or weed often found on roadsides or disturbed areas. But the claim is false. Before we discuss why, let's understand the functions of the kidneys. They are two bean-shaped organs that help your body eliminate toxins, filter blood, and remove waste through urine. Kidney failure occurs when the kidneys stop working and can't remove waste or keep the body's chemicals in balance. And there are two types of kidney failure, acute or severe, which happens suddenly, and chronic, which develops over many years due to conditions like high blood pressure or diabetes. Acute kidney failure is potentially reversible, depending on what caused the sudden damage to the kidneys. Chronic kidney failure cannot be cured or reversed and is fatal if left untreated. However, there are treatments available. Exactly, and the treatments don't include goose grass. Acute kidney failure requires immediate medical attention and treatment of underlying cause. The kidneys will need dialysis until treatment is complete. And if the treatment does not work, long-term dialysis or a kidney transplant will be required. Treatment options for chronic kidney failure include only dialysis or transplant. Peritoneal dialysis is where a plastic tube is placed in the patient's abdomen to carry a cleansing fluid to filter the blood and then drained into an empty bag. And hemodialysis is where blood is pumped through a tube out of the body and into an artificial kidney machine designed to remove waste and extra fluid from the blood before it is returned to the body. There's no evidence that consuming any kind of grass can help, let alone reverse, kidney failure. It's crap. Spreading false information and fake cures for potentially fatal conditions not only misinforms the public, but also gives false hope to those who are suffering from the disease. Our next claim also concerns health. This time, candidiasis often called a yeast infection, which is a fungal infection caused by various species of the genus Candida. It can cause infections when it overgrows. This infection is common in people with a weakened immune system, those taking antibiotics and infants wearing diapers. There is a plethora of advice available online for the prevention and treatment of this condition. One post says that those with a yeast infection should avoid sugar, wheat, and dairy. Proponents of alternative medicine argue that reducing sugar intake can inhibit the growth of candida. But here are the facts. The candida diet claims to target candida overgrowth by eliminating sugar, gluten, alcohol, and certain dairy products. The idea behind the diet is that eliminating these foods deprives yeast of the nutrients it needs to thrive. This theory draws parallels with how sugar feeds yeast in baking and brewing. There's little scientific evidence that the diet is effective. The effectiveness of dietary changes can vary significantly from person to person. Eliminating dairy and wheat can lead to potential deficiencies in calcium, vitamin D, fiber and B vitamins, especially if not substituted with alternative sources. And even if you cut out sugar, wheat, and dairy products, certain medicines could still contribute to yeast infections. A professor of infectious diseases in global health at the University of Manchester in the UK told Africa Check that there was no evidence to support the claim. 
The World Health Organization media team also told us that the claim was generally based on laboratory data that had not been confirmed in humans. It's crap. Next up is a message forwarded to us by several subscribers. It claims that Capitec, one of the largest banks in South Africa, is hiring. Let's see. It reads, Capitec is looking for energetic, self-motivated individuals who share passion for service in the banking industry. Adding that salaries for positions such as bank tellers, cleaners, ATM assistants, and more would be 6,000 rand minimum. The message has a link attached where WhatsApp users are told to apply for the Capitec position through an online form. So is this just another job scam? Unfortunately, yes. There are a few signs that the job advert is a scam. To start, the message doesn't link to Capitec's verified website, but to a simplistic website featuring only a fillable form. The message also doesn't appear on any of Capitec's verified social media accounts. And before being able to submit the information on the web form, social media users who click on this link have the submit button obstructed by a notification approval button. This is a red flag for clickbait which can allow scammers to spam you further. Messages that provide a phone number should also be treated with caution. The phone numbers are not Capitec verified WhatsApp numbers. Unverified numbers such as these can trick users into giving out their personal information or even get job seekers to pay for fake interviews. Lastly, those seeking job opportunities at Capitec should visit the company's career page on its verified website or on its LinkedIn page. Last on our list is yet another job advert. It claims that a number of South African retailers are hiring. Part of the post reads, we are hiring part-time and full-time. New staff to work September and December. Hmm. It has photos and job posters from five clothing and food retailers, Pep, Roots Butchery, Spa, ShopRite, and Mr. Price. The post encourages users to apply via a link. According to the post, applicants must be available immediately, willing to learn and work, and between 18 and 55. This sounds like a scam to me. That's because it is. The attached links don't take you to the websites of the companies listed. When we clicked on the link in the widely shared post, our antivirus program warned that the site was suspicious. The post also instructs interested users to send message inbox and we will reply you in your inbox right now. This is uncharacteristic of job ads from major retailers. Such big companies tend to publish well-written posts, free of grammatical errors, random capitalization, and odd punctuation. Right. Asking users to send a message on WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger is also suspicious. Scammers often use this tactic to try steal personal information. Some of the posts claim they'll send users an application form. Legit companies usually ask applicants to fill in a form on their website and attach their CV or send an application to an official email. The claim is crap. That's all the time we have for today. Now you know what's crap and what's not. Your friends and family can sign up for our show over WhatsApp. The number is 082 709 3527. Make sure to save us as a contact in your phone and send us a message. You can find the show wherever you get your podcasts, from Apple to Spotify. If you listen there, you'll find show notes and a link to the fact checks. Remember that you can send us a WhatsApp message, a picture, video, link, or voice note that you need fact checked. Just forward them to us on WhatsApp. Our theme song is composed by John Bartman. I'm Andesuame. And I'm Taryn Curry. Bye for now. Volume.